Hey, Shalom family, at this time, may the peace of y'all be with each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. I'm doing a very important video at this time, um, showing you, brothers and sisters. And as a reminder, we came from, um, well, we have a dream, the dream from Martin Luther King's speech, to we are the world. Remember the song went out into the earth, we are the world. And in this world today, we still have no peace, brothers and sisters. They had hands, um, linking hands to hands, showing people from coast to coast, all of the United States, all the um, um, uh, really uh, famous people that are, uh, that is from Hollywood, linking up and, and saying they, um, their bits and pieces, brothers and sisters. But none of this is true today. It would never be peace established in what we call the United States of America, brothers and sisters, with our people. The nation of Yada and with the United States of America, brothers and sisters. This form of government will never bring peace to our people, brothers and sisters. It will never bring justice to our people. It is already written, brothers and sisters, in the scriptures. And I started this and named this video The Dream to put this in your mind. The false dreams and vision um, people tell, even of our own nation, brothers and sisters, that don't know the every words of Yah. The prophet warned us of these things, brothers and sisters. When you get in there, get the knowledge of y'all. Remember what y'all said that people perish because of lack of knowledge. That's why I do not even accept people's dreams. And they push me away from them when they start telling me their dreams and their vision they have. Because all the things we need to know is already written in the prophets and the writings of y'all that we need to know. That prepare the way for us and tell us what we must do. Brother and sister, you don't need no dreams. You don't need no visions at this time. Because one thing the Father said, He's going to stop the mouths of all the false prophets. And I know in these days right now, um, brothers and sisters begin to read these scriptures, and we have many proclaimed to be uh, prophets and prophetess. And now they begin to know the name of the Creator, just like they've done before. Many came in. And use the name of Yah. And say they had a dream and Yah of Yah said these things. And said uh, and other things they say. One thing you're going to find out is all true brothers and sisters. You got to be careful. I'm going to read some scripture to you. A couple of prophets. Uh, Yah say Yah and Yerim Yah. He wanted to went out brothers and sisters. Because all of Yah sent our ancestors away for punishment for a period of time. And he said two-thirds of our nation are going to perish, brothers and sisters, because of their sins they've done against Yah. Many came pretending to be prophets and visionaries and misled the uh, our people, even using the Abiyah name to, to misguide Abiyah people, brothers. So you got to be careful. That's why I have dreams and visions, but I don't tell nobody these things. Because the most important thing is to let our people know Abiyah words. That is sure that already been spoken by the true prophets, brothers and sisters. So I'm here to share these things um, with you. Behind me, those who don't know, is the banner that is lifted up on my wall at this time. And one thing I know, all of y'all said in, in, in his word through the prophets, that the flag will be uh, lifted up. Again, brothers and sisters, in that day, in, in that time, for a sign to rally to the one who bears this flag. Yes, brothers and sisters. And it is true, brothers and sisters, these flags will go up all around the earth, wherever they may be. And that day, in that time, as a sign of token, it's time to rally together, to migrate, to wait for Yah. Near the shore, brothers and sisters. Because the boast is coming. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 9, tell you that, brother and sister, one day to take us back home. To bring the sons and daughters from afar back to the East Coast, brothers and sisters. These are the words of Yah. I'm going to bring before you today. I need a little bit more light in, 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 in here. So, excuse me for a minute, brothers and sisters. I gotta get a little bit more light in my room. 
I might have to bring this over, this uh, lamp over to me a little bit, so I can read to you. It's very important at this time. I need all the light. I don't have much light in here at the moment, so I'm about to uh, brighten it up a little bit, so I can um, I'll read these scriptures to you. I'm gonna start this off in a book called Isaiah. His real name is Yahshua. Isaiah chapter eight. Verse 16, to show you some things that is very important that we must know, brothers and sisters. Abiyah said through the mouth of Yahshua, um, let me go back to 15. He said, And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and snared and taken. You see, what they're going to they're gonna stumble and fall because they do not obey the words of Yah. And that's why uh, uh, everyone get in the trap. When they don't obey the words of Yah, they fall, they stumble, and be broken, and snared, and trapped, and taken. 16 reads, it's a bind up the witness. See, the witness, all the words that were spoken from the mouth of the prophets. It's a bind the words up, which in your mind, it's a seal the Torah among my taught ones. See that? So two things we look for. It's a bind up the witness. Seal the, I'm reading this from this translation right here called the scriptures. Now I'm going to read. I can't show you because I, I don't know what the, where, where, uh, where the world the cover went to on this one. I have it around here somewhere. It's a green cover. And this one called the Living Bible. Paraphrase translation by Tinsdale. I don't know where that cover went to. But right here in chapter 8 verse 16 reads. This read it a little different. With the same meaning. It said, um, right here. Let me get to it. In 16, it said, write down all of these things I am going to do. You see that? When it said, bind up the witness. It's talking to write down all these things that I'm going to do. See? All the prophecies that were spoken. All the, all the actions that were going to be taken from the mouth of the prophets. Write these things down. All the things I'm going to do. Says Yah, seal it up for the future. And trust it to some righteous man or faithful man or uh, Adam kind to pass on down, which to the faithful one that is of the seed of Yahshua Yah. So it just can't be anybody outside, you no know, a foreigner. But only of the chosen ones of Yah. It said, um, let me keep reading. It said, um, write down all these things that I am going to do, says Yah. Seal it up for the future. And trust it to some faithful man to pass on down to faithful men or Adam kind of future generations. So I want, I want to go ahead and read the rest of it that out. It's very important to down to 20. Verse 20 right there. So this was the order. All the, uh, the passes down, just go all the way down to the sea. Remember I, I told you, I told Abraham in the very beginning. To God the ways of Yah. Which is the Torah. To keep the laws. To God to protect. To keep. To watch over. And pass it on down to your children and then your children after you. That was always the order, always the charge. That they will do these things, obey these things, and live. See, the purpose was to obey these things. Obedience to Yah. That we, we will live and have peace. See, when we guard the ways of Yah, which is his Torah, and all the things I'll be all said, uh, that gonna be done to see the two things it showed you it, it, when it came down to uh, Yahshua to say to us and to faithful men. See that's why you, you can see today the distinction between faithful men and non-faithful men. Some people just tell you to guard the ways of the Torah, but not all the things that Abiyah say to do. They don't know them. See, we gotta guard the Torah. And all the things I'll be out setting on do these are the things we must watch over. These are the things we must uh, pass down to some other faithful men. Everybody's not faithful to y'all. 
Everybody do not know the, the wisdom of y'all. It take time, but this message is going to get around to each and every one that I've y'all that is uh, destined to get to. Right here in verse 18, reading, I'm going to 17. It said, I shall wait on y'all. Right out there, I said, bind up the witness and seal the Torah among my taught ones. You see that? And now I'm reading back again from um, the, the translation called the scriptures. See, all the translation we have, a lot of them read a little different from others, and it's and still more coming out today. Some of you can't trust at all because they're changing it all together. So right here, that's why you got to, um, when you find, when a faithful man rise up of Yah, obedient man to Yah, strict. And just like Abiyah said, how wonderful is, is that one that uh, um, uh, walk and walk in the ways of Yah to be with him, to be with her. How wonderful is this one that preached the righteous things of Yah, the true sayings of Yah. He said, look, I am the children. Let me go there. I, I went to there. I, bought, I went there. I jumped at 18. Let me read 16 again. It said, bind up the witness and seal the Torah among my top ones. See, now I hope you begin to understand more what that means. All the sayings of Yah, that what he's going to do. See, the witness is the prophecies. We got to know this, the prophecy, brother. So if, not, if you don't know the prophecies of Yah, you could be misled and God, misguided and, and go in the wrong direction. So it's very important, brothers and sisters, here. It's a bind up. So understand. This one just clarified a little better right here to give you better understanding when it tells you in um, eight, um, 16. Let me read it again. It's a write down all these things I am going to do. See, the prophecies. Says Yah, and seal it up for the future. See, and trust it upon faithful men, which is reliable uh, men, uh, women, where I say men, man, uh, Adam kind, to pass on down to reliable ones of Adam kind, or you can say of the Yahudins of uh, future generations. You see this? That's why these scriptures had to come to us, brothers and sisters. Because only truthfully, reliable men of Yah will carry out the plans of Yah, brothers and sisters. Not everyone. Because the ones that give you the dreams and the, and the visions, they lie. Brothers and sisters. Yes, we have liars among us that do not work the righteousness of Yah. Because a lot of people, when they come with these dreams, people get fascinated by these people. They think they uh, they got a connection with Yah, but they don't even know Yah. Because we were charged at this time to go by the prophecy that was already already given and the laws we must follow. But we got to know the sayings of the prophets. We got to know everything what Abiyah tell us to do. Or you'll be misled. So right here it said, bind up the witness in the Torah among my top ones. And I shall wait on Yah. See, it's and I shall wait on Yah. See, the time when it said wait on Yah, waiting for all of Yah to turn back to us. Who hides his face, see, from the house of Yaakov. See, from the twelve tribes. Because why he hides his face? Remember my, my last video tell you why. Because he punished our ancestors for their great sins. For a period of time. And it came really heavy down on the northern nation. As Ephraim was the head of the northern nation. That led them in this great abomination. This great um, whoredom. Turn from Yah and worship. By Al. El of the Canaanites. And Asherah. Supposed to be Asherah, they said, was the, uh, the wife of El, and by Al was the son of El. So Ray and Septim said, I should wait on Yah who had his face, who bring the same knowledge back to us, not in a dream and visions, but by revelation of his words. 
And that is his giving, brother and sister, and going out into the earth again. And say, I will wait on Yah who hide his face from the house of Yaakov, and I shall look for him. See, look for him. I said, mean, those who diligently uh, search for me shall find him. Through what? The writing, not through visions and dreams. But through the witness, the words that already went out that he gave to the prophets. 18, it said, look, look, I and the children whom Yah has given me, see, for, are for signs and wonders. See, right here, where they got signs and wonders, well, for signs and wonders, they're talking about their names are, are, are give, have symbolical meanings. That represent the plans of Yah. See, in the in our names that was given, like uh, even in the names of, uh, uh, of the prophet Yahshua, was given his sons took on the, was given these names that had symbolical meanings that showed and revealed the plans of Yah to our, our people. Like the one says, share, share Yahshua. Soon the enemy will be destroyed. Yes, and that enemy of that day was destroyed. Was the king of at that time of the northern tribe got destroyed, and the king of Syria got destroyed by the Syrian invading army that was rising up against at that time the king of Yad to try to overthrow Yad and set up that when the jealousy when the jealousy was real heavy upon the northern nation toward the southern nation. They pay uh, Syria to go with them to try to, to defeat Yada and overthrow the king Ahab. But Abiyah destroyed both of the kings even before the baby which is finally chapter 7 was had the knowledge to know between the, the tell the difference between right and wrong. So with that let me go to um, verse 19. It said when they say to you seek those who are mediums and wizards who whisper and mutter see who whisper and mutter tell the dreams and the visions lie to you and say should not a people seek their barah should they act excuse me, should they seek the dead on behalf of the living then it repeated look then it repeated again for the second time to seal this in your mind it said to the torah and to the witness see the witness the thing that Abi I told the prophet that was going to come to pass, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because they have no daylight break, no light, no no truth in them. Depending on what translation has, some say no light, some say no truth, which is talking refer to the same thing. They are not guided by the every words of Yah. So let me read this right here in verse twenty. They read it a little different right here. Let me give me a place. I mean, give me a moment. I got to find verse 20 in here. 20 right there. It said, check the witches words against the words of Barah. He said, if the message are different than mine, it is because I have not sent them. For they have no light or truth in them. You see that, brothers and sisters, that did depends on what translation you have. Depends on what, how, uh, what information you're going to have. Because we don't have the original. But both of them don't bear records to the truth, brothers and sisters. If their words is not according to the words of Yah, there's no truth in them, brothers and sisters. Everybody don't not carry the words of Yah. They speak from their own thoughts and, and, and their dreams and their vision. But every dream, vision is not from Yah. You got you to gotta know these things. And these are things you got to be careful upon. As uh, I'm going to go to uh, the book of Yeremiah, this time the prophet. Chapter 23. These are things uh, you must take the heart. These are the things you must have in your mind, brothers and sisters. Remember.